Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm shooting with the front facing camera on the brand new Realme 6. It's the budget and handset from Realme uh, released in the UK. They also released the 6 Pro which is a slightly better version in terms of camera performance and a few things here and there but I personally think a Realme 6 is a better uh, value for money handset. Uh, let's talk about the phone very quickly whilst you look at this vlog and also check out the front facing camera and its stabilization which has been asked and requested by quite a few of my followers. Uh, now I'm driving, uh, obviously the door has uh, got some potholes, a few bumps, speed bumps here and there. So that will give you a good idea as to how good is the front facing uh, camera's stabilization. Uh, the front camera is a 16 megapixel affair with an f 2.0 aperture it can record up to 1080p and not 4k unless unlike the flagship phones but obviously at this budget you don't expect that the back cameras however have been very very impressive in fact those of you who follow me on my social media uh, there was a recent update released by realme uh, which added the uh, ultra steady mode in both 1080p and 4k video modes and that made a huge and significant difference to the overall uh, video quality and also stabilization uh, links are uh, under the description guys please do have a look and the videos are on my channel uh, should you wish to see them and you'll be very impressed with how little that you have to pay for some really good amazing stable footage in terms of performance obviously the 6 comes with a MediaTek uh, Helio G90T unlike the 6 Pro which comes with a Snapdragon chipset but this chipset has impressed me a lot uh, this is the first time I've uh, tested and lived with this chipset for the last couple of years but uh, the performance has been impressive apps open up really quick the phone is very nippy very responsive and with 90 Hertz refresh rate it's an ideal recipe for the budget king as far as I'm concerned. You never get, uh, for this kind of money, 90 hertz refresh rate on any smartphone in the world. Please tell me if you know, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, this kind of stuff like 90 hertz refresh rate comes on OnePlus 7T, OnePlus 8, and if you go further up, obviously, at the Galaxy S20 and all the rest of the main uh, high-end flagship phones. So this is only around 200 pound mark. If you go for the 8 gig version, which is slightly more expensive, but I think it's definitely worth it. And that's the one I've got, the 8 gig version. It does add to the performance and makes your experience just slightly bit better than the 4 gig variant. In terms of overall battery life, I have shot a video today, uh, guys, and I'll be posting that up in the next couple of days. I'm a bit busy at work at the moment, um, and uh, I will be doing that very, very soon. And also, uh, I've uh, shot a quick gaming performance video. I was very concerned with the heat on uh, the media tech. Helio G90T uh, chipset as reported by so many people around the world. However, in my experience today, I was gaming for nearly an hour. I must admit, they were not the most heaviest of games. You will see that in the gaming performance video, but the phone did not heat up at all. So if you're a light to moderate heavy gamer, occasionally half an hour, 45 minutes gaming session, I'm pretty sure you'll have no problem with heating on this phone. But overall, I'm quite impressed. Big, massive screen. It's a very good decision to stick to full HD plus and not quad HD because that obviously drains the battery more. The 4,300 milliamp battery is well optimized. Realme UI is fantastic. It's obviously based on Color OS, as most of you know already. So this phone is running the very first Realme version 1.0 along with Android 10. And overall, a very good package and definitely a thumbs up from my end, guys. If you are looking for a budget blower or around the 200 mark, pound, uh, mark, 250 mark, this definitely is the phone to go for. So guys, this is a quick vlog, car vlog, me showing you obviously, like I said, the front facing cameras, um, uh, video capabilities, stabilization, and talking in general about the phone. I hope you like my video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. And like always, please subscribe as it helps. And I shall see you in the next video.